I will just say that we made very clear um, to the Iranians that we had no involvement in this strike. We didn't know about it at the time. And we warned them not to use this as attack as a pretext to attack U.S. facilities or personnel. Regarding the uh, attack on the Iranian facility in Damascus, I was wondering, well, we know that the United States has sent messages to Iran saying that it was not involved, it had no idea of this operation. Um, I was wondering, um, what, how was the uh, American message received? Was it accepted, do you, th do you think? considering that there are now a number of officials threatening retaliation? So I am not going to speak to how it might have been received. The Iranians can speak for, uh, for them themselves. I will just say that we made very clear um, to the Iranians that we had no involvement in this strike. We didn't know about it at the time. And we warned them not to use this as attack as a pretext to attack U.S. facilities or personnel. Since then, have you, has uh, the administration um, possibly followed up with uh, reaching out to an intermediary, somebody that, a country that Iran trusts <clears throat> to hone in that message? I, I'm not going to speak to our range of diplomatic engagements, but as we have made clear uh, over a number of months, we have the ability to send messages, very clear messages to Iran, both directly and indirectly, and we do so when it's in our interest. Matt, do you know if, have you, has the administration been able to ascertain the, um, the, uh, that the facility, the Iranian facility, was indeed a diplomatic one, as Iran claims? Uh, we are still gathering uh, details about what, it, what precisely type of facility that was. And given the Iranian response uh, or threats, uh, are U.S. Uh, interests, <coughs> troops, in the region and across the world, have they been put on alert? So I would defer to the Pentagon to, to speak to that. Obviously, um, we have been broadly, <coughs> excuse me, we have been uh, uh, broadly, and I'm not speaking on behalf of, of the Pentagon, but just on behalf of the State Department, broadly concerned about escalation since October 7th. And have you seen us take a number of steps over time uh, uh, with respect to our embassies? We are constantly monitoring the situation and making assessments about um, uh, the precise threat environment at, at any given day, but I don't have any updates to posture to announce. And with respect to um, uh, American forces in the region, I would defer to the Pentagon for comment.